this demo, we will see how Spring Insight can give us deep visibility into applications built with Spring integration as well as with Rabbit MQ. Spring Insight is a developer tool that provides visibility into your application's runtime performance and behavior by tracing how low-level SQL queries, transaction times, and application pages are performing. The best known example of Spring Insight is with the Spring Demo application Travel, which allows users to view hotels and make bookings for them. Here we see a sample trace created by Spring Insight on the Travel application, which can show us specific JDBC queries that were executed, as well as, as, well as other information gained from the code. In today's demo, we will use different applications and different scenarios in order to see what kind of insight Spring Insight can provide for Spring Integration and RabbitMQ code. We will use some of the more advanced samples in the Spring Integration sample repository. The loan broker application simulates a loan broker asking for loan quotes. Any loan quote with a rate higher than 5.2 is passed over to the Loan Shark application. We have deployed both applications on our TC server instance. Here we can see that the Loan Shark application starts with an empty list of loan requests. We will use the loan broker to ask for loan quotes. And as we can see, there are two quotes higher than 5.2 and one which is not. If we go back to the Loan Shark application, we can see the exact two quotes which were higher than 5.2 in the loan shark. Now, let's go and see what Spring Insight can show us about how this happened. We can see in the resources tab that the two applications have been detected. Each one of them has several endpoints reflecting the actions we performed. In the recent activity tab, we can see the actual traces. This trace shows us what happened when the loan broker requested loans. Notice how we can see all of the different spring integration components in this flow. We can see here the two quotes that were received when the loan broker asked for all of the quotes, one for the friendly bank channel and one for the easy bank channel. As we saw, one of them was higher than 1.2 and one was not. Looking at the sample trace collected by Insight, we can see how the loan broker handled the difference in these two. For the friendly bank channel, the filter is the last spring integration component in play. For the easy bank channel, the message was passed onwards. Now let's see how the consuming application, the loan shark, handled this data. We can see the message consumed by a direct channel, and we can see the specific JDBC query in which the exact quote rate is used with the easy bank and a, an interest rate of 6.9. Now let's see how all of these flows that we have seen actually map to the code and how Insight gathered th this data. We can see the code of the loan broker application open in STS. Notice that while the code shows here a main method, 
I have deployed the application as a raw file on the, on the TC server, which is why we see the trace originating with a post request and a Spring Web controller. Notice how we can see the mapping of the code to the elements shown in the trace. We can see the Spring integration gateway that is defined, and we can see the call to the get best loan quote method with a message payload type of loan request. Looking at the Spring Integration Configuration file, we can see the definition of the gateway. We can see the definition of the input channel, which is the loan request channel, of the header nurture, which transforms the headers of the message, and more. We can also see the service activator defined by Spring Integration, which listens on the input channel of Easy Bank Channel and uses the Bank Stub class. Here we can see the message transforming handler. And we can also see the expression it uses to transform the message. We can also see the UDP message being sent and how it was configured. Now we will look at the code of the Loan Shark application and see how it matches to the data in the trace collected by Insight for this application. We can see the UDP message being consumed by the application by the UDP inbound channel adapter. And we can also see the message transformer and the channel of the output. Notice the accumulator, which is defined as a service activator, If we look at the data of the message before and after the transformation, we can see that it arrived as a byte array and was then transformed into a shark quote. This was done by the shark transformer. We can view the code of the shark transformer to see how this was done. We can see here how it takes a byte array and then returns a shark quote. If we look at the code of the accumulator, we can see that the transactional notation is also reflected in the spring and set trace. And so is the rest of the logic, which creates JDBC calls as well as Hibernate calls. In summary, in this demo we, sh we saw how Spring Insight can provide deep visibility into applications composed of Spring Integration components. It tracks the various Spring Integration components such as channels, gateways, transformers, service activators and more. It also shows you the message payload types and the message IDs. The second sample application we will use is the CAFE sample. The CAFE sample emulates the simple operation of a coffee shop that is modeled using enterprise integration patterns. The domain is that of a CAFE and the basic flow is depicted in the following diagram. The order may contain multiple order items. Once the order is placed, a splitter will break the composite order message into a single message per drink. Each of these is then processed by a router that determines whether the drink is hot or cold and then passes it on to the barista for preparation. 
as you can see, there are four test classes which are supposed to be executed in order. I have packaged each of these as a separate WAR file and deployed all of these on the TC server instance so that Spring Insight can monitor these applications. These are the four WAR files on my TC server instance. And here we can see the four applications detected by Spring Insight. In the store front, the user can place orders for hot or cold drinks. Let's place a hot drink order. Going back to Spring Insight, in the recent activity tab, we can see what just happened. The several traces here are collected from three different applications. We have the storefront, the operations, and the hot barista. Looking at the trace from the storefront, we can see the post request generated from the web page. We can also see the Spring Web Controller, where the order hot method was executed. We can see the Spring Integration Gateway, the channels, the message transformers. We can see the message type that was transformed from an order into string. And we can see the message that was published to ArbitMQ. Notice the routing key and the exchange which we can collect. So this message was passed on to the routing key order.1 and to the exchange cafe orders. Here we can see the cafe MQP operations application consuming the ArbitMQ message from a queue called new orders. We will be able to see the mapping between these queues and exchanges and routing keys later on in the code. Looking at the trace of the operations application, we can see the handling on the RabbitMQ message. An AMQP inbound channel adapter listens on the RabbitMQ new orders queue and receives the message, which is then passed onwards to Spring Integration channels, transformers, etc. After the message has been processed, the order is eventually directed to the hot drinks channel, which then sends the message again by RabbitMQ for the barista to handle. We can see the message being sent here on the Cafe Drinks Exchange with the routing key of drink.hot. Looking at the Hot Barista application, we can once again see this message being consumed from the rabbit queue. And then being handled by an MQP inbound gateway which processes the message and actually prepares the drink by a service activated handler. It then replies to the RabbitMQ message using this temporary key which was sent by the outbound gateway. We can see that this exact key is exactly the same as we captured for the outgoing message. The CAFE sample gives a good overview of the capabilities of the Spring Integration and the RabbitMQ plugins. Even without viewing the code, we were able to get a very good sense of how messages were being passed between applications and with what Spring Integration components. I will now go over a few of the highlights in the code, but if you wish to follow the data in the traces in even more detail, you are welcome to browse the CAFE application code. The four separate applications are open in STS. 
Looking at the cafe demo app, we can see it is defined as a controller and that the auto hot method places an order for one hot espresso on the cafe bean. In this configuration file, we can see that the cafe is actually a spring integration gateway and all of this maps perfectly to the trace we saw earlier for the storefront application. We can also see the configuration for sending the message to RabbitMQ. And this expression is responsible for the order.1 routing key that we saw in the message. We can also see the queue bindings. In this configuration file of the operations application, we can see, for example, the outbound gateways that are defined for sending messages to the baristas. For example, drink.cold is, is the routing key used for sending drinks to the cold barista. And finally, in the configuration file of the cold barista application, we can see the actual handling of the, cast of the customer's order. We can see the inbound gateway that consumes messages from RabbitMQ. And we can see the chain of message handlers, which transforms the message into an order item and then passes that order item onto the barista, which is defined as a service activator. All of Spring Insights plugins are available on GitHub, and as you can see, there are quite a few more, apart from the Spring Integration and the RabbitMQ client plugin that we just overviewed.